I'm actually having a better cost per conversion than this. This is just what YouTube can track, which is pretty scary. YouTube requires a 15 times higher than your current CPA in the account as a daily budget. This campaign here spent $60,000 in about 25 days. And the results were terrible. And they got really good. No one understands that Google is a self-learning algorithm. Kate, you usually have a really good uh, head on that like, post event where like, ah, oh, we should like next week, should we talk about like this, this, and this? Is there anything that I'm missing here um, with my winging it? I mean, maybe something in terms of like, maybe we can go in depth on like conversions and then conversions by conversion time. Maybe like, you know, for example, people that look at Google ads accounts like week over week, and then maybe how that kind of messes up with supplementary campaigns. Um, sure. I don't know if that would really be in depth at all though. Yeah, I think the supplementary campaigns are always going to have that sort of lag, but let's use uh, let's use the YouTube one. Um, and I I know there might be some redundancies here, but a lot of the stuff overlaps. I mean, if, if we all remember, we're simply just a person inside of one platform, so there's going to be some overlaps. Um, you know, it's not like we're we're running a whole marketing department for an omni-channel company, but we're the Google Ads people. So there, I might have shown you this all before. I can't remember, but um, is something that we'll need to look at from a conversion by conversion time to conversion by conversion click. Um, again, super important, but especially when we're looking at self-learning channels that have horrible attribution or at least latent attribution. This is a campaign uh, that we ran for a client. Now you see the conversion value on day one was $397. On one of the last days, it was $1,600, $1,800. This campaign here, spent $60,000 in about 25 days. And the results were terrible and they got really good. If you look at August 4th, this is the first week of performance. We spent $15,000, made 1600 bucks by time. If we look at, let me do this here. I move these through. All right, this is amazing. This is how YouTube works. For everyone to know, uh, I'm just gonna, before I present this, I need everyone to understand something very carefully. YouTube requires a 15 times higher than your current CPA in the account as a daily budget to be optimized over eight days. If you have a hundred dollar cost per acquisition in an account, you set a $1,500 per day budget and then just eat a negative row as sandwich for a week. It is hard. And it's something that clients are not ready to hear yet because they still think, well, choose a target, choose an ad. Why aren't they buying? No one understands that Google is a self-learning algorithm. So first, you need to give it time. If you're not going to give it time, the first client that we talked about promised that we'd you know, give it some more time if we saw some good light and then just wanted to jump ship the first three weeks. And so now that money's, now it's, now the overall MVR is tanking and we're not, we're not optimizing. So interestingly enough, that was a failed test um, due to the client just being skittish, wanted to jump ship. This one here, for example, by conversion time, I made $1,600 at the time, but it was again, remember, it's the first week of the campaign launching. There is no historical performance. There is no time lag yet. It just started. The clicks can only go back like three days because that's how long we've been running the campaign for. So at the time, it shows $15,000 in spend and $1,600 in conversion value. And I'm like, the client's like, oh my God, John, why are you keeping this running? Our cost per conversion, uh, that it was uh, cost per conversion, I think it was by time, um, was $725. Like, why would you spend $725 a lead? Our, we can't go over 100. And I was like, give it time. After, the, actually, if you're looking at this, at this date range today, if you look back to August 4th through the 10th on October 21st, it was actually 150. 
Remember, this is by click or view. This is what actually happened. Before I move on, because this is a crazy number of disparage, uh, disparity, uh, 150 to 725, does everyone have a very, very firm and well understood concept of why this these two numbers exist? Is there anybody that has any questions at all? John, I would just repeat again what you were saying, just so everyone, okay. no matter what. <laughs> In the first week of the campaign, our cost per conversion was $725. The first week when those people saw the ad converted later, that would be here, which is the buy, click, or view. Did they see the ad? Did they click enter? Did they view later on in the next 90 days? Well, when looking back at that day, what is this now? Two months later almost, we see that it went from 725 down to 150 because everyone that saw the ad in the first week of August 4th through the 10th converted on either August 11th to October 21st today. So your definition of conversion by click and conversion by time is important to have a really good grasp of understanding on it because the people that have conversions here this $2,674 worth of conversions on Friday, August 5th, at the time was actually $397. These people that saw the ad on Friday, August 5th may have converted on August 26th in real life. And Google simply just appended that conversion back to the time when they first were engaged. That's why this blue line stays the same. I've had great success since day two. It just took me three weeks to, to prove it. That's what the difference is between here. When you look at the line, actually, of the, and this is again, ancillary supportive campaigns. When you look at the line of blue, I've been successful since day one. I made $6,700 in the first week. I thought it was $841 at the time. I just needed to give it more time for those people that saw the ad the first week to convert later. So when you're looking at these, these scenarios here, the red line is doing this, but the blue line has been doing this. This is a successful campaign since day one. It just took three weeks to share, to, to prove it. Because Google needs 15 times your average CPA and after eight days, which is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And also you see the conversion value starting to increase. The conversion value peaked here. This, this is a pivotal time here, eight days later after it started. So we're gonna run an ancillary campaign. Two things are happening. This is not all of the conversions. This is just what people clicked on or viewed and converted that Google can track. I probably have four times the amount of conversions here, actual. We've proven that with, with Solutions 8. But that's what's really interesting is when you're running an ancillary campaign, you can't run for one or two weeks, but ah, good enough. You're still in learning phase. The people that saw day one, if you're on day 14, you can't look back a week, you gotta look back two weeks, you gotta look back at inception. After a month of running a campaign like this, then you can say, okay, here's the actual reason. Because on the last week of this campaign, from the 25th through the 1st, my $750 cost per conversion went down to 115 bucks. And now I'm in goal. By, by click, meaning that I, and I ended the campaign August 31st, uh, September 2nd and 3rd and 4th, these people started to convert, but I stopped spending. My conversion is now $94. I went from $750 on the first week down to under $100 CAC, which is their publicly traded goal. That's a big jump. Any questions so far? And this is, again, I'm actually having a better cost per conversion than this. This is just what YouTube can track, which is pretty scary. It doesn't track most. Yeah. What's cracking, Regina? Hang on. Oh, I saw that Glenn had his hands up first. Oh, you guys want to rock, paper, scissors real quick? I don't know who was first. <laughs> it was Glenn. No, no, it was you. You okay, had sorry. yours up there. Oh, damn it. You beat me. You go. Oh, okay. I won. Fair and square. So I was just wondering if you could show everyone what's inside of that custom column, because I'm worried that when people skim through the video, they're not going to understand why there's two columns called the same thing. And then... They're showing different data. Yeah. Yep. Damn, also, damn it, Regina, you stole my question. Oh, okay. Great mind. Oh. 
Look at that. Rock, paper, scissors, new, new work. I just read, I just duplicated the, the campaign. I just have one called by time. Um, since I'm the only one in this account kind of looking at the YouTube stuff, I was, it, I, I named it wrong. Normally I'll do this and say, um, yeah. By taste. Yeah. But since it was just me, I'm like, I know what that means. Um, and the reason why I was, uh, figuring out is one's gonna be underlined. One's not. And that's because my campaign here or my, my column here doesn't <clears> have a description <throat> and the actual one will give you a definition. Right. So and, anything that's, yep. Go ahead. Yeah. And pro tip, if you're a CM, um, something I would do with every single new account launch is I would make them a custom column, call it, you know, ROAS by time or CPA by time, whether it's lead dinner or e-com. And I would like in my first video update or first meeting with them, I would be like, here, I made you a custom column, you know, you know, and I would explain to them why it's better. And this is in your best interest because a you're providing them value and they're like wow that's so custom that's so cool thanks and then but b most importantly now you have them looking at the by time numbers which are going to show the most up-to-date data right instead mm -hmm. of having them looking three weeks in the past all the time and wondering why the cpa is so high you know like john just yeah. showed yeah if, if you're always looking back seven days by click you're always looking at the worst yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's it's always true, and that's you if you notice my accounts, if you ever hop in any of my accounts, these are defaults. I only use by time, and then my ROAS is also by time. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com, to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Um, because the ROAS by time, or the, the conversion value is 34 by time and is 16 by click. Well, that's a doubling. That's a hundred percent increase. So whatever row as you're tracking 16,000 up to 34,000. Well, if I spend 28 grand to make 16 grand, uh oh, but if I may spend 28 grand to make 34 grand, client's super happy. We just need to be above hundred percent row as because these people return convert at crazy amounts of money. Like we get a $12 conversion that two weeks later turns into a $10,000 conversion, 12 bucks to 10 grand. It's pure CAC. We just want to have a raw as it's just not hammered in cash. So this this invested company from very, very, very big, big, big company, like third largest company in the world, will still feed the money. So we do see some things based off of some commodities. But what's cool is when you're looking at the um, campaign here, my branded campaign will spend a whole you know, 400 bucks to get 6,000. Why? Well, I'm running YouTube remarketing. It's been $700 and 4,600. I know YouTube works and I put YouTube inside of Pmax and I'm making a push there. So it's really, really cool how all this stuff works, where the attribution, I already know this is a 21 and 5%. It's it's not. These are just the really cheap $12 conversions of free trials. But then they come back and they cool my brand name and they spend another, I don't know, since last month, my brand campaign that's spent two grand to make 100. And I know that this is only me because I have 98% of all ad spend for this company so it's like $500 a month in Facebook and 90K in Google. So because of that, I know I can have a 50% ROAS campaign and it makes the account look like this. This is cost conversions. I mean, just so well in line, like these things are stitched together. It just flows because we know that I'm getting a 2X and I scaled from you know, four grand a week to 28. Pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> but that's when we look at the buy time. I know that if, if I was doing the buy click, I'd be like, oh my God, if I rose with 200% down to like 50, what happened? It's just the wrong way to measure. But uh, what was the conversions? So is there anybody here that, um, that has any sort of questions about the difference between conversions by click and conversions by time? Is there no one that can recite this or teach a client how to do this? 
Oh, Glenn, do you still have your hand raised? I'm sorry. Is no, there... I just, I've got another question. Oh. So yeah. The, yeah, yeah, I suppose the, the million dollar question here now is, and we've got clients that are running new current YouTube campaigns. Is it worthwhile? And they say, oh, I don't want to spend 15 times my account CPA. When we just say, well, if you don't do your 15 times account CPA, this probably won't work. Is that the is that the conversation we have with the CM uh, with the clients now? We need no. 15 times CPA on a daily budget. Uh, I would do this. Everyone keep this. Um, and keep this link handy because this is what's nice is it gives you a really self defense position from the clients because they're like, listen, it's not me, it's it's Google, and yeah, so you don't want to spend 15 times. That's okay. We want to optimize in seven eight days. Do you want to spend right. 10 to 15? It's gonna take two weeks. Five to 10? It's gonna take three weeks. You want to spend two x what your CPA is? All right, it's gonna take probably about six to eight weeks. Yeah. Less you spend, longer it takes. The more you spend, the shorter it takes. All we're doing is feeding Google data. There's an X and Y axis. The more you spend, the faster it goes. The less you spend, the longer it goes. How fast, I mean, what's the pain per gain? Are we fine not hemorrhaging cash for eight weeks or do we want to hemorrhage 20 grand next week? You're going to get the same result. We saw that in my the, the campaign that I showed you. Yeah, when we spend five grand or two grand in one day, I'll make like four thousand dollars or two grand in a week. I'll make four thousand dollars that week. It's not going to look like that that week, but it will. Or, but if I spend two hundred dollars a day for six months, it's just going to. What's up, Hayden? Or is it Glenn? Does that does that answer your question? It does. Yeah, and I think having sending them that that link, it adds a bit of credibility because this is from the horse's mouth. This isn't just our opinion. This is Google saying this is what you should be doing. The way that to present this, and Kate will jump to you next, the way to present this too is you give them your recommendations. Once they challenge it, you give them the um, an example. Once they challenge and ask more questions, not a bad way. If they're not challenging you by like, I don't believe you. But if they're still like, I'm just not getting it, then you pull up Google and say, listen, you know, we've seen this, we practiced it, we have some examples. This is also what Google says. So if you're not going to listen to us, experience or Google, where are we missing the mark here? So talking about diagnosing supplementary campaigns or existing campaigns and how they actually have an effect, the overall account structure and performance. Um, not even account, just really the, the company, the, the, the business. 